All right, thanks for watching. And let's solve this really fun differential equation. Y double prime over Y prime minus Y prime over Y equals ln of Y. And the first thing to do is to get rid of the denominator. So let's multiply both sides by Y times Y prime in order to get Y, Y double prime minus y prime squared equals ln of y times y y prime. And then you can put this ln on the left hand side and you end up getting y y double prime minus y prime squared minus ln of y times y y prime equals it. So that's first of all, and now what we want to use is the derivative of y, so it's kind of a chain rule exercise. So in particular, let's define the following function. u of y is dy over dt, which is y prime. And then, differentiating both sides with respect to t, what we then end up getting, so y double prime of t, it's d uy over dt. And then you can use the chain rule, which basically becomes du over dy times dy over dt, and that then becomes d over dy times y prime of t. And it may seem weird, but using that, you can now transform the differential equation to get the following. So I would like to remind you, this is what we started with, and now what we have, so this y is still y, y double prime, that was, du over dy times y prime, but remember y prime is another name for u, minus u squared minus ln of y times y times u equals zero. Again, which is good because we sort of turned this into a first order differential equation. And moreover, we can factor out the u so what you end up getting is u times y du over dy minus u minus ln of y times y equals zero. And then we have two cases. The first case is if u equals zero, but then remember u was just uh, y prime. So in that case, y prime of t equals zero, which means y is a constant. Now, first of all, the constant has to be a greater or equal to uh, zero in order for the, greater than zero in order for the ln to be defined. But also, uh, the only problem with y being a constant is that y prime is zero, so the denominator would be zero, but if you accept the convention that zero over zero is zero, then this is actually a legit solution. So it's up to you. In any case, let's look at the more interesting case, which is the other term is zero. So case two, y du over dy minus u minus ln of y times y equals zero. Now, as I mentioned, this becomes a first order differential equation with u. So let's clean this up a little bit. So this third step, you can now write in the form du over dy minus one over y u equals ln of y. And while now this becomes a first order differential equation 
for uh, you. And in particular here, we can use the integrating factor technique. So in this case, the integrating factor is e to the integral of minus one over y dy. So it's e of the minus ln of y, and that becomes one over, well, I've taken the absolute value of y, but y is positive, so this becomes one over y. So let's take this differential equation and multiply it by one over y. So we get one over y, du over dy, minus one over y squared, u, equals ln of y over y. And now once again, the beautiful thing is the left-hand side becomes a derivative. So just the derivative of one over y u prime equals ln of y over y. So here the prime is d over dy in this case, and then we just need to integrate. So then what we get is one over y u equals integral of ln of y over y dy. And this one, the antiderivative is one half ln of y squared over two. So it was u, the function of y over y is one half ln of y squared plus a constant, and this ultimately allows us to solve for you. So u of y is, I believe, y times one half ln of y squared plus. Very good. So now we solve for u, and now we just need to solve for y, because remember, u is just y prime of t. So now what we have, step four, so dy over dt is y times one half ln of y squared plus c. All right, and this one we can solve using separational variables. So now multiplying the dy and the dt, and I know a little bit illegal, uh, we get dy over this whole shebang, y times one half ln of y squared plus c equals dt. And then let's integrate. Whoosh. Now, uh, this integral to the right is not too bad. That is just t plus another constant. Let me call it c prime. And for this one, uh, we essentially need to use a u sub. So let u, or in this case, v, be ln of y. So I already used u for the derivative here. So remember, v is ln of y. And then, in that case, dv is, not dvd, but dy over y. So this becomes dv, and in particular, this whole integral becomes integral dv of one-half v squared plus c. And then, uh, essentially, Again, assuming c is positive, which we'll just do here by simplicity, uh, this becomes an arctangent integral. So in this case, this becomes, put the one half on the denominator. So this, in the end, we get two integral of dv over v squared plus two c and then a factor out the 2c. So this then just becomes 2 over 2c of dv. And then I think you get v over square root of 2c squared plus 1. Now the 
twos cancel out. And then what we can do then, another use of W is V over square root of 2C. So uh, W is V over square root of 2C. So DV becomes square root of 2C dw. And then uh, what we end up getting is that the integral is 1 over C that we had from before and then square root of 2c over w squared plus 1. And then uh, now we can use arctangent. So this becomes, I believe, square root of 2 over c and arctangent of w plus yet another constant, c double prime, which again, uh, this is arbitrary, this is arbitrary. So just assume this thing and then we just need to unwind so in other words this becomes square root of 2 over c arctangent of v over square root of 2c plus c double prime and then in the end remember what v was it was just this ln, so we get arctangent of ln of y over square root of 2c, and then plus c double prime. And we are nearing the end, so now we just need to equate both sides and see what we end up getting. So, and then you know, this is step five. So in the end, what we end up getting is the following. So square root of 2 over c arctangent of ln of y over square root of 2c, and then plus some constant, c double prime equals t plus c prime. Now, we can put this c double prime on the other side. But then we literally just get an arbitrary constant. So you can just replace this by C prime. And then we then get square root of 2 over C, our tangent of ln of y over square root of 2C equals T plus some other constant, C prime. And then now we can solve for uh, y because what we get is arctangent of ln of y over square root of 2c equals square root of c over 2, t plus c prime, and then put the tangent here, so ln of y over square root of 2c is tangent of this whole thing. Now, aren't differential equations crazy sometimes? And then essentially multiply by square root of 2c and then exponentiate and you end up getting in the end our solution to the ODE, which is the following. Ultimately, what is the solution? So y is e to the square root of 2c tangent of square root of c over 2 times t plus c prime. Or, remember we had the constant solution. y equals c, where c is positive, assuming in this case 0 over 0 is 0. And also, I mean, remember that was assuming that constant was positive, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, assuming let's say c was zero or c was negative, you can get other solutions as well using partial fractions. All right, I hope you like this differential equations adventure. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.